Welcome to Electron Online, and our next example here deals with volumes, and let's start with the volume of a cube. We're, giving, we're given that the width is twice the height, and the length is three times the width, and the volume is 96 cubic feet. What are the dimensions of this box, of this cube? All right, uh, we want to find what we think is the smallest dimension. So the width is twice the height, that means the width is bigger than the height. And the length is bigger than the width, that means the height is the smallest dimension. And so therefore we're going to let x equal the height, because the height is the smallest dimension. Okay, if x is the height, and we say that the width is twice the height, that means the width must therefore be 2x. So 2x equals the width, because we're told that the width is twice the height, the height is x, therefore 2x is the width. Now, the length is three times the width. So if the width is 2x and the length is three times that, that means 6x must be the length. So 6x is equal to the length. All right, now that we know that, we know that the volume is 96 cubic feet and the equation of the volume is that the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And so the volume must be equal to the length is 6x, the width is 2x, and the height is x. And then we note that the volume is 96 cubic feet, so we can say that 96 is equal to 6 times 2, which is 12x cubed. And then all we have to do here is solve this for x. Well, first of all, we can divide both sides by 12. So that cancels out, and I'm going to reverse the equation. That means that x cubed is equal to 12 goes into 96. Uh, let's see here, 8, 8 times. And then, of course, at this point, we take the cube root of both sides. And so if we take the cube root of this and the cube root of that, that means that x must equal 2. And since x is equal to 2, we can come back up here. I'm going to say that x, the height, must be 2 feet. The width, which is twice that much, must be 4 feet. And the length, which is six times that much, must be 12 feet. And those then become the dimensions of the box. So that's how we do that. The ideal thing always is to let x equal the smallest item, the smallest quantity, the smallest size. And then you build up from there. Let everything else be expressed in terms of x that way. And that's usually the easiest way to do it. That's how we do this type of problem.